What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. Today, you're gonna be watching some fresh gameplay on the new map. I played literally like a little bit right after the update launched, so it's gonna be very sweaty. Do not expect any any semblance of any good gameplay in this in this video. Uh, go somewhere else for gameplay channels if you still care about that. Uh, I want to talk about the map, I guess, as well as just a couple of other things. So, yeah, let's get started. If you enjoy the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. All that stuff is very appreciated as we head into Mono for 3, where hopefully the game will be more fun and enjoyable and I'll actually be able to play the game and upload more than like once a week. So uh, let's talk about the new map. Uh, it's called like DRC Zone 1 or something like that. Uh, again, with the weird names for no reason. Uh, it's it's weird. OK, that's that's what I'll say. I don't think it's a terrible map. I think aesthetically it looks really nice. It, it sounds really nice. Like the color scheme is very good. It's very saturated. You know, it, it just looks good on its own. The problem is it's slightly big. It's it's not like gigantic where it's like clear, like as your cave or something like that. It's like clearly not like like you can fit 6v6 on it. It's just slightly bigger than I would like. Um, also, there's a lot of like uh, what do you call it? Like corridors where you can like easily get shot in the back. People can spawn behind you very quickly. And so that leads to obviously very frustrating situations. Um, aside from that, I'd say it's an all right map. It's it's all right. It's definitely not going to be like a classic. It's not going to be a fan favorite, at least to me. Uh, it's going to be a very forgettable map, but it plays OK in most game modes like Hardpoint Domination. Obviously, things like Team Deathmatch and Kill Confirmed and Free For All, like, yeah, you're not going to really have a whole lot of fun. I think it's going to be a decent search map. I have not played Search and Destroy on it yet, but I think uh, there is potential for it to be good. Something else that dropped with the new season is this play again feature in multiplayer. So basically, uh, after each match, all players, or specifically if you want to be solo, uh, and designated party leaders can basically opt to stick together for the next match. However, this is only for your team. So what is the point, right? Like the point of like wanting to play again is so that you can stomp on the enemy team if they sucked uh, and, and play again like that. But for some reason it's only for your team so like if you just were really good or really connected with like a homie or something like that you just play again as if you can't just add them as a friend because of voice chat or something like that like okay i, I don't know they they really think they're giving us like this illusion of choice for instance but nah man if we wanted to play with our own team we could just easily do that again we don't need you and your system to tell us or to let us know that hey if we like someone in our in our previous team you know, we can party up with them. We can do that on our own, you know? So I don't know, it's dumb. It still makes no sense why they took out lobby, um, like staying to, like lobby staying together. It makes no sense. Why disband something that nobody asked for that nobody likes, right? Like if you want to try it for like a year or something like that or half a year, that's fine. But why keep it when you clearly know that nobody likes it? That's just, that's weird, right? It's just for skill-based matchmaking, right? And that's kind of the obvious thing. I touched on it a little bit, but yeah, uh, something else, voice chat in Call of Duty is getting AI moderation to catch and punish toxic players. And so this is going to suck. I'm not going to lie. I'm not someone out here who's like always bashing people and stuff like that. But hey, man, if you're down like O2 in control, for instance, and you come back to win 3-2, you better believe I'm going to start talking to the enemy team. OK, how can you let that happen? Blah, blah, blah. You guys suck. Uh, and the fact that there's now going to be AI moderation, I have to like kind of watch what I say. Obviously, things like, you know, sexism or racism, like should not be happening. Right. Obviously, stuff like that. But, you know, if they start banning me for saying like you suck or like you can't hit a shot or something like that, like I, I, that's going to suck. OK, that's that's going to be really annoying. I think that, yeah, harassment and stuff like that shouldn't be in the game, but you know smack talk that's different that should be in the game and i don't think that you know ai powered things i think it's called modulate it's going to be called tox mod which I'm, I'm assuming is like toxic you know moderation uh i'm assuming or i'm hoping that that stuff doesn't just I, I hope it doesn't make it so that nobody ends up talking in the game you know that's one of my biggest fears call of duty when you think of it at the core of it is just immature dudes talking to each other and saying your mom jokes, you know, and maybe slightly more, but obviously slightly more shouldn't be allowed. But yeah, I, I just don't want it to be where like it's a game uh, where no one talks, you know, I, I feel like already they 
is it's it already it's pretty much like that right if you if you hop in like any like casual lobby these days it's just people on their playstation 5 controllers uh people with like fans going on someone's vacuuming in the background someone's eating like and licking their fingers with chips like none of that stuff is stuff i want to listen to right there's very few people out there who are just like have a decent mic who talk who know when to talk and when not to talk and uh you know because of that i think it just kind of ruined a lot of the fun of call of duty and i think if you have this ai disruptive voice chat modulation thing it's just going to ruin the fun even more um and so uh, yeah i don't know man i'm not i'm not the hugest fan of that heading on back over to the multiplayer side of things apparently face off dropped i didn't even know about this i didn't even get a chance to play it but apparently it's 4v4 on some new maps I asked a few buddies on Twitter how they were. Nobody really got back to me yet, so I'm gonna have to do a follow-up video, I guess, at some point. Um, but yeah, I mean, face-off is always a good idea. You know, it was never really a bad idea since Mono for Three. I think it's it's always kind of fun to have like a smaller um, map and smaller atmosphere. You know, maybe less streaks and stuff like that. And it's more so just gun skill. You can work on camos. You can work on like pistols, for instance, things that uh, definitely take longer or are difficult to get on things that are not like shipment sized maps. Um, so yeah, good. Definitely going to be trying face off soon. Other than that, guys, <laughs> everything is about Warzone. Everything is about bundles. You know, we got 21 Savage. We got Lara Croft coming like guys come on man i don't know how many bundle videos i gotta make how many times i gotta reiterate this point but i don't know man stop buying bundles that's all i gotta say the more bundles we buy the more bundles they make the more bundles they make the more people buy and, and it just keeps going on and on and on um i'm not trying to pocket watch you do what you want with your money with your time but just as someone who's not been super thrilled you know one 6v6 map in in a season reloaded like that's not impressing me it's not really impressing a whole lot of people right i don't know i, I miss the days where we'd get like you know three at launch and then maybe like one or two in the reloaded um you know a new a weapon of course and stuff like that as well i think we got like a new pistol and new submachine gun uh there's talks of people who really don't like like this lockman smg i, I i'm not trying to unlock it i again could not care less i literally hop on for gameplays and hop right off <laughs> you know what i mean I, I the days of me playing call of duty for fun are long long gone okay probably since like black ops 4 is the last time i actually did that maybe mono for 2019 if i'm going for camos and stuff like that i'm hoping that the mono for three camos are good you know i'm really hoping they're worth unlocking and they're, they're fun and you know worth it uh, i really don't want to see trash camos i really don't want to see anything like that hopefully it doesn't happen um, but yeah, that's that's relatively it, guys. Uh, there's sadly just not a lot of information, not a lot of stuff that you know we can like that we care about, that I care about. Uh, apparently, there's a lot of weapon balancing, but again, I don't care, and I think a lot of it was for Warzone too. So who who cares? You know what I mean? Oh, this is something to mention, I guess. There's gunfight snipers and gunfight back in in Monifer too. Um, yeah. Not exactly something I'm excited to hop on for, but I, I guess for people who like gunfight, I don't know, it just seems like something very, very casual. But let me know what you guys think about uh, the voice AI modulation thing, uh, about the new map, if the new weapons, if you got them. Uh, for me, just it's very, very whatever at this point. You know, Call of Duty, as you guys know, I have very, very little interest in it. There's just nothing worth playing. Uh, gaming in general, like I said in my previous video, not much worth playing. Uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, are you guys playing any other like fun games? Maybe I'm sleeping on a game. Definitely, definitely let me know in the comment section. But yeah, man, hopefully, hopefully we get some Mono for Three news. It's already September when you guys are watching this video, so uh, we are slowly approaching Call of Duty leak season and and beta season soon. I think it's in another month or so. So you know, we got to hold out. We are almost there. Hopefully, the channel will start growing again, and hopefully, I'll be. More excited to make videos, but until that happens, appreciate you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Uh, I really appreciate that. And with all that being said, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace, and peace.